Hello everyone! Just the other day I received an email from author and illustrator Doug Hopkins. He informed me that he was currently producing an animated series and asked if I could review the trailer for it. After giving it a watch, I thought, oh yeah, I can get behind this. So without further ado, I present to you, Robot Western. I'll admit it's not the most eye-catching title, but the actual meat of the project looks and sounds promising. Robot Western is meant to blend comic book art and animation, which definitely shows in its presentation. The models are textured and rendered in such a way that makes them appear to have leapt off the pages of a comic book. And character, prop, or background, they're also finely detailed in terms of modeling. While we see less than a minute of animation, the animation we do see gives off a professional vibe. Even the characters just standing around looks good, as they aren't stock still or swaying around like they do in more amateur 3D animations. Interestingly, while the characters are robots, they sometimes have organic looking deformations. This could just be a stylistic choice to make the characters feel more human, but I also think there could be more to it. Exactly what, I'm not sure, but I feel it may relate to one of the secrets of this humanless frontier. After the scene on the train, the rest of the trailer is mainly made up of still art of different scenes, perhaps stuff they haven't had the chance to animate yet. And I must say, they're beautifully illustrated. They show off different moods, action, and do a fine job at creating wonder. This shot here is one of my favorites. It makes me think, who is this? Who is he talking to? He's looking at a wanted poster. Is he a bounty hunter of some kind? And then there's this shot of a standoff in the middle of a town as its citizens run for cover. Who's fighting? Is our main character among these two? What led to this standoff in the first place? Another point of interest I find from these shots is the variety of forms these robots have, as some look human, others don't look human at all, and some are even in the shape of animals. Seriously, there's so much potential for story and world building here. I also want to add that the particle effects they have so far look pretty damn good, and enhance the overall comic book feel of this project. I think the only thing I'm iffy on in this trailer is the robot voices. I get that they're supposed to sound like robots, but the engineer robot here I found a little difficult to understand at first. You assist boss of Paranoid. This is a secret run and we can't delay for every hunch roll for a vulture bat picked up by the scanners. In this case, the effects applied to the voiceover muffles the words, so I would tone them down a bit to make the voice clearer. Now let me tell you, this trailer appears to only scratch the surface of this story. According to the Robot Western website, the main story follows a young robot boy named Rusty, who journeys to the big city of Dodge Central after his father was injured and unable to provide for the family. While searching for work, he meets some unlikely misfit friends and gets mixed up in a string of blue coal train disappearances. Having to prove his innocence, Rusty must unravel the mystery behind the disappearances and stop a plot that threatens his entire planet. And the Kickstarter page for the project notes, If you think that's enough story, don't because there's so much more to be revealed. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. Honestly, after everything I've seen thus far, I'm so eager to see what this story has to offer. As mentioned, Robot Western currently has a Kickstarter page. Their goal is to reach 4,000 Canadian dollars, just over 3,000 US dollars, so that they can fund the first episode of the animation as well as the third issue of the comic book series. At the time I'm writing this, there are about 1,100 Canadian dollars in, and the deadline is on… my birthday, funny enough. You can find the link to their Kickstarter page in the description of this video. And whether you can contribute financially or not, spread the word! Take to Twitter or whatever social media you frequent and boost the signal! I wish this project the best of luck and I hope to see it realized.